His Excellency the President Nanado Dankwa Ekufuado. His Excellency the Vice President Alaji Dr. Mahmoud Maumia. The Second Lady of the Republic, Haji Samira Baumia. The National Chairman of the New Patriotic Party and all patriots gathered here this evening. I hope I can stand on extreme protocols. I'm here briefly to link what we have done and give you a foretaste of what is to come. A link between the last of the titans, Excellency Nanado Danko Kufuado, and the future generation led by Dr. Baumia. I hope this heroic tax I'll be able to do. In 2011, around 2 a.m., I was woken up by the security guards of His Excellency the President Anado Danko Kufuado, way back in Borga. When I went to see him, he was alone in the canteen of that famous hotel. We sat down to talk, obviously woken from sleep. And he said some profound things to me that evening. He said, Napo, Matthew Prempe, this party, you are the next generation. I'm going to give you some advice, pieces of advice this evening. And I hope you can stick to it. What were the advice or the pieces of advice? He said, my whole aim is to make sure when we get into government, we succeed ourselves. And I can only leave the party to one of three people. He proceeded to mention who he felt comfortable in 2011 to leave the party when he exits office. He's our second presidential candidate who is offering eight years of competent leadership. Eight years of delivery. I can say, I can say without any voting, that two of the three are representing and coming after him. That is Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and my good self, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe. Leadership is born and made. His Excellency Leonardo Danko Kufado, who himself was the man of the moment in 2007, and who himself we have listened to his crowning achievements, today is about leaving us, but is ensuring that we succeed ourselves in breaking the eight with Dr. Mahmoudou Bahumia. Since my nomination as the vice presidential candidate of the New Patriotic Party, I've spent a considerable time in Western region. I believe, apart from our mother regions, Ashanti and Eastern, the region that is akin to making the MPP the national governing party forever is the Western region. I've spent considerable time here. I've been through Amenfi, Wasa, I've been through Discove, I've gone to Jura, I've gone to Zema, I've gone to Ahanta, I've been to Esekado, meeting chiefs and leaders in all these communities. And I'm overwhelmed by the love and warmth of the people of this region. I've been everywhere with the chairman of the party and the regional minister of the region. And I can only say, Thank you for the good work you do on behalf of MPP. Patriots, we have a general election to win. We have a general election to win. And this general election, we will win. With God, it is possible. This is a call to duty. This is a call to duty. And today's manifesto lunch, is the show of our contest of our ideas and policies that is going to serve as a guiding light for His Excellency Dr. Bamudu Baumia. When, by God's inshallah, 
7th January when he assumes office. He promises us that he needs no honeymoon. And from 7th January, he's going to start working for and the people of Ghana. The MPP which he represents, which he leads, and when he says to lead is to solve, has a record of delivery. In 2016 and 2020, the MPP delivered on this manifesto. I do recall the Excellency Dr. Baumia calling me to come and account for what we are doing and what so far we have done in education. That led some of us to think deep. Mr. President, your work has been shown that you are a man of Siadie Yo Oka Oye. Based upon the work that you have done, I'm sure Ghanaians are going to give us the mandate to continue from where we are. Mr. President, what you did in education has not been even demonstrated here. In 2016, it was a contest of ideas. When you talk about free SHS and free TVET, you didn't stop there. From early childhood care and new nurseries you developed, you made sure that in the era of IT, every school, every school gets a school laboratory, and it is in progress. You made sure every teacher gets a laptop for IT, and it is in progress. And you made sure every student in secondary gets a laptop, and it's in progress. Mr. President, when you assumed office in the year 2017, 40,000 Ghanaian students had passed their WASI exams but could not get their results because they couldn't pay examination fees. 40,000 Ghanaians at BEC and WASI could not get access to their results because they couldn't pay examination fees, not even school fees. Before you came into office, Mr. President, for every 100 Ghanaian students that qualified to go to senior high school, 35 could not go because they couldn't afford it. 35. For the 65 that went into secondary school, Mr. President, by the time of WASI, another 30 had dropped out. And that is why it was only 800 students in school when you came up. Mr. President, even not all that 800 would have qualified or been able to stay through three years. I can assure you, the people of Ghana will forever remember you that as we speak, as we speak, every child that goes to secondary school leaves secondary school with the best results ever. The most profound thing, Mr. President, the most profound thing that you did in education, when the naysayers said it couldn't be possible, you made it possible. When the naysayers said you are diluting education, you are lowering standard, Mr. President, the first batch of free SHS stayed home five months because of COVID. And when they came back to school and they sat for the Awasi, the best results ever Ghana has had, 68% of all a 18 aggregate a 18 subjects happened for that group. 68%, the whole of West Africa. Ghana got 68% of A1s, A subjects. Not only that, we for the first time passed all four core subjects. That had never happened, Mr. President. Not only that, the best three students that ever happened came from your country, Ghana. That is leadership. That is delivery. That is leadership. Mr. President, we move from education to energy under your watch, and we said, no longer will Ghana have do so. In fact, by 2017, when you got into office, it had been five years of doom, 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 doom. It was not doom so, it was five years of doom. In fact, a former president said he will watch how we solve the doom problem. Not only have we kept the light on, Mr. President, even under trying times, the light has been on. Mr. President, I can say that the average electricity prices now is cheaper dollar by dollar from between 2017 and now. You have not only exhibited competence, you have exhibited leadership par excellence, Mr. President. I do know 
that right behind, beside you, was Dr. Mahmoud Obamia. If you set the vision, he set the mission. If you ensure delivery, he made sure your government ticked. No wonder you pulled all stops to let him succeed. And surely God will bless your effort. I am a strong believer, Mr. President, after listening to your record, personally, I'm a strong believer in Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. I've worked closely than many more with him than many more would ever know. I believe in his ability and his knowledge, and surely he's the man of the moment. I, Matthew Pukupempe, I am committed to serving him loyally, to ensuring his vision is translated to a mission and an action purpose for myself. I know his vision is for a brighter, better, business-friendly country called Ghana. And I pledge to even work harder to support this vision. There is so much we can do, patriots, together if we pull all our hearts and minds together towards that common goal, that common shared purpose of victory 2024 December. So, President, nothing would make you happier no legacy would ever pass the fact that on 7th January, your sword will be handed over to your Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Dawoudia. You've given the next generation, you've given the next generation ample time to study and to work and to serve. It is our time to deliver. Dr. Mahmoud Babia is a man of vision. He's a man on a mission. He is humble, but he's firm. He's affable. He is respectful. He's honest and he's loyal. He is a problem solver and a very hard worker, a man of integrity and a go-getter. He is destined to take Ghana to the next level. Before I take my seat, His Excellency the President, let me say this, let me say this, and I'll say it again. I know Dr. Alaji Mahmoud Baumia. He is not corrupt. I will not be corrupted. In his public life, Mr. President, he has never been accused of corruption. And in his public life, he has never been investigated for corruption. I am sure and certain, I am sure and certain that you are giving an honorable man to continue where you're left off. No matter what the naysayers say, the president, he is not corrupt. He has never been accused of corruption. And he has never been investigated for corruption. And he will never be corrupt. For those who have skeletons in their cupboard, for those who have skeletons in their cupboards and think the election is far gone for them, Dr. Bamudu Bamumia will win the 7th December general election and presidential election. We, we, Kukudites, will fight from room to room, house to house, village to village, community to community, that never again, that never again will we have doom so. Never again will there be petrol queues. Never again will money be the determinant of how much education level you can achieve. And surely, the day of accountability is coming straight to some of them who have skeletons in their cupboard. I will promise that we will work 
and work and deliver a better Ghana for your legacy purposes. Thank you.